Welcome to the eighth video in this series on using Substance 3D Modeler. This video will cover instancing and how it works for layers and groups. Creating an instance starts by making a link of a layer or group, and it takes effect when it's copied. Select a layer, then head into the Actions menu. Selecting Make Link means that if you copy this layer, the copies will not be unique, but instead instances of one another. When hovering something that's been linked, all of the instanced copies will have a green outline. Instancing a single layer also puts it inside its own instance group. Moving it around from the scene level, it will move and scale like normal. But you first enter it like you would a group. The group contains this one instance layer, so moving or scaling will also be reflected. By editing the layer with a sculpting tool, it also instantly edits any instanced copy. Any copies made of something that's set as linked will make more linked copies. This applies to the Quick Copy option for the Select tool in VR. You can quickly make a lot of instances. The instances are also affected when using tools across instance layers. This is a powerful way to quickly edit many similar instances by only having to edit one. Instancing also applies to groups. Let's select this group and turn it into a link. When duplicated, you're given a linked copy of the group. If you move around the contents of the group, those same edits will reflect in the instanced groups. This includes adding or removing elements of the instance group as well. This can all be used to your advantage to, say, work on copies of complex groups. If at any point you want a layer or group to be unique, just select it and unlink it here in the Actions menu. This will de-instance the selection, and now it will just behave as unique content. Currently, since linking also creates a group, if you unlink a layer, you may also need to ungroup it. The same option can be found here in VR. That will wrap up part 8 in this series on using Modeler. Next up, in part 9, we'll be going over Boolean settings and operations.